Hello and welcome back to the isle, where they have fixed fish spawns, finally, so I can make a little Pteranodon guide. So, alright, uh, to start off, let's spawn in. And you have two spawn points with Pteranodon. Choose water access, southwest access sucks, there's nothing there. So just do water access. And... Okay, daytime. Let's see, uh, got most of the day. Right, first order of business. Get to water, find fish. That's really what you need to do as a baby pteranodon. Oh, something I thought I'd mention after the fact. Uh, so my first spawn of water access, uh, actually plain, was a very good spawn, but let's say you spawn here. It's like, oh, I'm in the middle of a jungle near water access, and I have no clue where the water is. Or where I am. Well, go north. Just smell and go, okay, let's try going north. And you will, every time, be at water access. Uh, the really far out spawns in water access are always to the south of it. And as you can see, right there. Boom, water access. Now you grow pretty quickly. And uh, growth doesn't really affect your gameplay a huge amount, so just nabbing you no know, triple hex diet is good. If you can get like two hex one line or uh, two lines one hex, go for it. But it's not the end of the world if you don't get it. And look at that, we got fish right here. And starting off with a big tip with Pteranodon, if you want to catch fish and not lose a ton of stamina eating, latch onto a wall, and eat it here. And one thing you'll notice about this method, I am at 61% stam. So I haven't actually used all that much stam to catch a lot of fish. And this is as opposed to, and I'll do it in a second. Oh crap! Ooh, 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 no, 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 no! No, ooh! I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm okay. Planned it. And let's see, I wanted to see if there were sea turtles here. I'm not sure if their spawning is fixed right now. Um, I know this area used to be really good for finding sea turtles. Though it's not completely necessary, as long as as long as Tyrannodon has fish, it can survive. Those sea turtles would be nice. Okay, I've been flying around here for a minute. Either I'm unlucky with the sea turtles, or their spawning isn't uh, working still. Or who knows, does even turtle spawns here anymore? I would assume so. Beaches usually are the places for sea turtles. Part of the reason I gave up on trying to find sea turtles there is it's about to be night. And night is a big deal for Pteranodon, because you can't see crap at night. Uh, Pteranodon has very bad night vision. And as a result, you want to be good on food and water by the time night rolls around, so that you don't have to go trying to find food and water when you can't see a thing. And water particularly... Uh, uh, does not play nice with night vision, it just becomes a black void and you'll easily find yourself running into it or getting completely turned around. So let's fill up on fish. Okay, I think that's enough fish. And now, ooh, that fog has gotten bad, jeez. But now I'm gonna fill up on water. And over here, not that you can tell where here is, but it's right around where I spawned is actually a good spot to drink. You typically don't have Danos right here. And watch as I eat my words. Okay, let's get somewhere safe to log to fix this fog. Yeah, if you ever see fog like this, it's a bug. Relog, that'll fix it. Um, because this is not real fog. Let's, let's get up in this tree. 
Alright. And... Wait, really? Oh, okay, I was about to say, it's not daytime. Yeah, this is what it should look like. Now you might think this is not an improvement over the fog, but I hate the fog with a burning passion. Uh, this is Pteranodon's normal night vision right here. Uh, not the most fun, especially when weather conditions makes it worse. Uh, on a very clear night, you can somewhat see if you're out in an open area. If it is overcast or rainy, you are screwed. If it's a thunderstorm, it's 50-50. When there's lightning flashes, you can usually get a good sense of where you are. But, yeah. This is why I was taking advantage of that fog instead of instantly fixing it. Uh, nighttime for Pteranodon is a time where you're not going to really do anything. Because uh, you can't fly effectively in this. Can't find fish effectively in this. And it's very difficult to figure out where you are at any given moment. Because to figure out where you are, you need landmarks. You need to have recognizable locations. Here, you just don't have that. You don't have that at all. What that does mean is that nighttime is a good time to regen Stam, and a bit ironically, because uh, I think some of the concepts behind Pteranodon is that it's supposed to be very active in the day and go up to like high places uh, once they add the thermals, which, man, when they add those, I'll probably have to make a whole new video. Those will completely change how Pteranodon plays. But uh, ironically, nighttime is actually the best time to get altitude, to get up somewhere high where you can, once morning comes, decide where to go. Because there's nothing else for you to do, and you've got time to burn Stam and regen it. And that is why... You... Baby Stego. And that is why... You wanna get your water up, you wanna get your food up, you wanna get enough of those two to last you through the night. Until morning. And then, from whatever location you pick, I have a particular favorite. You can go down to the usual spots, grab fish, grab water, and do whatever you want for the daytime. But then once it starts getting evening, that's when you gotta make sure to fill up on everything again for night. Okay, now, didn't choose the best branch for this. Alright, zero stam used on takeoff. Oh yeah. You can see this is not a fun time flying like this. Ooh! Yep, that, that's a wall. Okay. Gonna slowly gain altitude. And hopefully, if we can get rid of this overcast and get a nice, you know, clear night, I'll be able to see something, anything. Let's see, what direction am I going? I am heading... East. If I'm heading east, I'm heading... So I'm at water access, I'm going towards the volcano. So that, if I run any rocks or anything, that's what it will be in this direction. But yeah, this is what flying with terrain at night is like. It is... <laughs> quite the experience. I can't even tell which way is up or down, really. I the sounds are getting louder, so I'm probably getting towards eh, northeast plains, maybe. But not quite there. I'd run into the volcano before I'd get there. Right now, if I were to guess, I am somewhere over northeast sanctuary. Oh. Oh, you're getting the clouds to clear up a little bit? Actually see something? Right! And I was about correct. Yep, there's a volcano. Uh, Northeast Sanctuary is just over there. Dang, I've got some good map knowledge. Yeah, this is what Tyrannodon Night looks like whenever you don't have uh, weather screwing you up. Which is much better. I can work with this. Uh, I can figure out where I am, use landmarks and such, but when you've got that pitch blackness, you, you're stuck in place. 
You're stuck in place unless you have a very, very good idea of where you are and what you're doing. Okay, anything hanging out up here? Nope, I've got the whole place to myself. Mm, Alright, regen stam. And... That wasn't the example I was gonna use, but that's what you do at night. You get up somewhere high, and then in the morning... Come on, there we go. In the morning, you can start by doing whatever you want, go wherever you want to go. Uh, from here up on the volcano, I can get anywhere in the map I want. Uh, right now, I think I'm going to get fish down at Northeast Lake. Though I hate this place and I will not be drinking here, I have a much better spot in mind to drink. But, oh, how much I do not like going here. This place is just full of crocs. So many crocs. Alright, shed altitude for speed. Mm -hmm. Possibly some entertainment. Yeah, just Stegos and Crocs fighting each other as per usual. Would that go actually? Goat would be pretty good for me. Uh, I believe goat's in my diet. Yeah, goat would be lines if I could snag one of those. If there's any goat bodies already around. Okay, I might do a little bit of scavenging. Because let's see, we've got some stegos, a dead stego. Crocs. Baby raptor, looks like Herrera. Okay, yeah, I'm not getting that. He will have me for lunch. Though it looks like, got some good fish right here. Nice and easy. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go for those goats, actually. Goats will fill me right up. It shouldn't be too hard to kill, though it's gonna take some effort. I think that's one hit. I think that's two. Possibly three, possibly missed. I've hit one of them at least. That one's bleeding. Okay, come on. Nah, we got Dilos. I don't trust them in the slightest. I think he's gonna go for that boar. Ooh, server, do not be lagging on me now. I need some precision. There we go. Okay. That's one. Not the most ideal situation, but I think I can... Okay, I've got a good line of sight on that Dilo. If it decides to come for me. Scavenging is a lot more nerve-wracking than just getting fish. If terrors show up, then I'm gonna have to give them the corpse, because I do not have these stam to fight them. Oh, yep, that's my cue to leave. 
All right, mostly full, pretty good. Is that Taro trying to get a goat? Hmm. All right. Now with many things, whenever you have water this low, and you're in an area like this that's full of Danos, that's a bit of a, an oof, as you would call it. Um, you're not gonna have a good time trying to find a spot without Crocs. However, Pteranodon has this neat thing called flying, and you are able to decide where you drink entirely. You don't have to be beholden to anything, really. Oh, and here, let's see if I can show it off. If you decide to try to take a fish with you for a long distance... Oh! You see that right there? <laughs> that right there is why I don't even trust this little area. Not in the slightest. This whole place is Croc Central. Just avoid it like the plague if you want to drink. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, if you get fish or meat chunks in your mouth and decide to fly off, uh, these little demons will spawn and try to kill you for it. But they'll crash if you just land anywhere. Then they'll despawn the moment you actually eat it. Okay, I have a much better spot in mind to drink. Oh man, we even got fish down here. Right, they definitely fixed the- ooh, the fish spawns. And that area to drink would be right around here. You typically don't get crocs here, and you typically don't get people here. I mean, that's the reason why you don't get crocs. This nice little pond over here. If I get got after saying that, I will be very irritated. Yeah, when you're drinking, that's really the only time you're forced into a position of, uh, of danger. Uh, otherwise, you can very well keep to the air, keep to the sides of things. I mean, you can get fish, just eat them from the sidelines. And actually, let's wash all this stupid dust off. Come on. There we go. Now I don't look stupid. But now I'll immediately ruin that by sitting down. Where should I sit down? Yeah, now let's keep flying. If I want to be safer than drinking up there, let's say I'm just feeling extra suspicious, go down here. <laughs> there are never crocs in here. And I'm confident saying that even after playing that in this video, because nobody goes there, so they will be bored out of their minds and decide to leave. Even if they try to specifically, you know, take that spot. Alright, from here, let's go Highlands. Just a gentle ascent, and I think even without full stam I can make it. Probably on top of one of the big rocks up there. What is that? Is that a... A raptor? Oh wait, no, that's... No, that's when you die low, actually. It's moving fairly quickly and sprinting without a care in the world. What is the deal with Stego's one calling today? Hmm. I know what I should do. Yeah, that's not normal. That's a pig. Dang, I can hear that thing from all the way up here. Let's see if I can find some. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, sea turtles, no. Baby Stego. I wouldn't normally, but you know what? I've had enough of your one calls, buddy. Just shut up. 
I'm not gonna waste this damn going after him. I know his plates have uh, uh, damage resistance, and I'm only gonna be hitting him from above. Yeah, you know what? Let's go River Delta, then Swamp. See if I can find sea turtles there. That'd be a little goal for me. So if you're just going along a river like this, you're not trying to gain altitude, you're just trying to get somewhere quickly, follow the river down. Basically go somewhere that's at the same altitude to another place at the same altitude. Best way to travel quickly is just tap shift every once in a while. Just tap sprint. You'll get a decent amount of speed. It'll carry you for quite a ways. Occasionally tap spacebar just to give you a tiny, tiny bit of altitude without sacrificing speed all that much. And you'll be surprised how far you can go. And how quickly too. Like this might not look all that quick, but like this right now, I'm probably going faster than a galley full sprint. And at practically no stam cost. Let's micro that. 97%, we got 30% growth boost, so almost full grown. I mean, I'm practically full grown now. I could try the islands. I could try them. They used to have turtle spawns. If I get nothing on these beaches, I might, I might try one of the islands. Mm, we do be looking pretty devoid of sea turtles. I'm thinking I'm trying that island if there's nothing there. Hmm. Don't know if I want to risk going to the swamp. Well, if I go to the swamp, even with uh, low visibility, I can make my way back to the River Delta. River Delta has a very, very good, very consistent fish spawn in uh, one of its locations. Like, that place will save you if you are starving, just every time. Very reliable. I mean, heck, if you are a baby Herrera going from, let's say, South Plains and you're trying to get to, like, East Plains, the fish spawns in that little spot will be what allows you to survive the trek. And, yep. Not looking like there's anything here. Unfortunate. Alright, over to the swamp then. Uh, if I'm super lucky, we can get a hatchling there. The spawns at South Beach and, uh, what is it, East Swamp? They tend to, like, funnel hatchlings towards the Swamp uh, Sanctuary, which has a bunch of shallow water that they can't move through very effectively, and a bunch of mud that'll really trap them. I have killed... More than a few baby raptors just trying to make that trek. Because he'll go right out in the open because they're not expecting a pteranodon to leap down on him. And... Okay. We're going in the proper night. Which, proper night plus storm is not a good combo for me. We got fish right here. Try skimming. There we go. Ooh, we got thunderstorm. All right. Gotta yeah, be very cautious on how my stand is looking. Got 16%. So you know what? I would like to get one more fish. One more fish, and then I'm thinking that tree looks like a good spot to rest. Bad thing is, I only have one or two opportunities to land this. Crap. Okay. 
Swamp trees can be a bit weird. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Barely. Alright, well fed. Got decent enough water. I can just rest up here in safety. Yeah, if I was concerned about Herreras at all, this tree is in the middle of nowhere, no other trees around to, like, leap onto. I could see anything coming up fairly easily, even with my night vision. Come to think of it, thunderstorms are the one time you have to be very concerned about Herreras, because the big thing Herrera has working against it currently is that it is so loud when it climbs. Like, whenever it leaps on- like, whenever it starts climbing, whenever it latches on to a climbing surface, it makes such a loud, distinctive sound, you can easily escape. Just the moment you hear that, get out of dodge. But thunderstorms means that can be lost in the background noise. Let's check. 100% grown, full adult. Probably gonna lose that diet, gonna lose that one, just because I've got nothing to keep it up. Uh, diets affects things a little bit, like, sprint cost decrease doesn't really do much for you. Uh, stam region increased is an extremely marginal uh, difference. Like, even when you got it really good, you're only really gonna save yourself 30 seconds, maybe? I don't even know if it's that much. Like, it's not enough of a difference for me to fret over it. It's like, okay, nice if I have it, but... Otherwise, as long as I'm not operating with debuffs, as long as I've got a single diet filled... Uh, I'm vibing with Tyranodon. Can't really afford to be picky with it. I'm not too worried drinking in places here in the swamp. Now, there are plenty of places I could drink that are completely safe from Danos, just very shallow water, but this area is usually such low pop that you really don't have to worry about a Dano being at the specific bit of water that you're at. Let's head River Delta. River Delta, get full up on some fish, and then head up to Highlands. as you can see, lightning really helps you get an idea of where you're going, even when you can't see anything. I should take advantage of this while I have it, because if Overcast follows this storm, then I won't be able to see a thing. I wait a little bit, the center of River Delta isn't you know, all that crazy. It's pretty easy to figure out where you are in there. has been going on for a little bit. I can't rely on it for much longer. In fact, I get a feeling it just simmered down. Yeah, there's a difference in the sound that the rain was making. Yeah. 
Let's see if I'm correct. I'm very close to where I want to be. I'm definitely in River Delta. That's it. Uh... Oh, no, this is... Wait, is it? Oh, yep, this is it. I see the log. Come on, game. Oh, there we go. There's a fish spawn right there. Yeah, this little pond here with the duckweed in it. Look at that. Look how much fish there are. How much fish there is, not are. <laughs> uh, only bad thing is there's not many good spots to... Okay, there we go. To latch onto a tree or something to conserve stam. Yeah, right here is one of the few spots where you can actually remain active at night. Because one good thing about duckweed is it breaks up the water so you can see where it is much easier, even when it's pitch black. And there's usually not much going on here. Usually it's fairly chill. I will say I do hope that they change the fish values. Um, 5% hunger per fish is quite low, especially for how big some of these fish are. I don't mind having to catch a few fish to eat, but when, you, when I have to catch, like, 10, 20, it gets a little silly. I think part of the reason they've done what they have with fish is for uh, Danasuchus in the future. They're gonna like spawn in smaller and be reliant on schooling fish, but then whenever they're adults, they- Oh! Oh! Hello. Hello, little guy. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, you're not catching me, okay? I'm flying. I am literally above you. I thought that was a fish for a second, but no, that's just a gator with eyes. How fun. Yeah, look at that camo. Look at that. I mean, that's also just duckweed helping them out. But okay, let's let's get out of here. Uh, I've already used up about half my stem, but let's see what I can get from near sea level here. So bit overcast, but I can make out some stuff. I can make out the biodome, I can make out... I think that's one of the mountains on the highlands. I'll probably make it up on there by night's end. Uh, yeah, and the time it'll take me to fly over there plus rest, it'll probably be morning. Okay, yeah, I'm landing here. Getting close. Gonna burn a bit more stem. Okay, where are you? Ooh. And there we go. Nice and safe up here. And I'm roughly. If I was to guess, about same altitude as Highlands Lake. So I think from here, once I reach this dam, I could make it to the tallest point in the map. And come on server, don't be dying on me when I'm doing this, when I've gotta do some ace combat stuff. There we go. And yeah, looks like I was about right. That's Highlands Lake Altitude. And you know what, let's just dump the rest of the stam. Get right here. Highest point in the entire map right here. 
And once I regen the stam, I can get anywhere in the map uh, quicker than anything else at zero stam cost. Uh, when you're up here, you have absolute freedom of where you're going, what you're doing. Beautiful. Man, sometimes this game, <laughs> this game can look freaking good. There we go. All right, take off. While using no stam whatsoever, I was lucky there. And because I'm feeling a little bit extra, let's do a gradual ascent from here. Oh, I don't need to. I could glide to any point in the entire map at zero stamina cost from here. But because I feel like it, let's just gain even more altitude. Now I'm jumping off from that point and doing this kind of ascent. You can reach the sky limit, where you'll bunk your head and start falling down. Which is funny. I believe I'd have to use two-thirds or more of my stamina bar to get that height. So I'm not going to go that high, I'll maybe use 50%. And okay, right about here, we're getting close to 50%. Gonna wait for one more tick down. Okay, there we are. So this height higher than the highest point in the map. Um, I can go anywhere. And in fact, I can see all the spots I can get fish from right here. Uh, Highlands Lake, water access, some spawns on that river there. You got... Northeast Lake, you've got East Plains Pond, I can see River Delta, Swamp, and can't see it through the mountains in the Biodome, but you got South Plains over there. And you know what, let's start making our way there. Now, my water is awful. And in most situations, I'd probably decide just to get a drink down there, where that Stego was earlier. That's actually a really good spot to get a drink, Daniels can't sneak up on you there. Now, if you're something terrestrial, well, you've got to cross the water somewhere, because it's an island, but Pteranodon uh, isn't restricted like they are. Now, okay, if I'm going to southwest access from here, I could glide there, but that's going to take some time, time that I do not appear to have, really. So let's speed it up a little bit. I think I can comfortably maintain speed and altitude with the extra height I got. Worked a little bit against myself by going out that way, but whatever. I am determined to do stupid stuff, it's fine. And still, I'm keeping decent amount of speed. I'm about to lose it. Uh, past this mountain, I'll go for another dive. And from there... I think I can get to southwest access easy. But, ooh, have I, have I confused where I am a little, or where Southwest Access is, really? I think I have Southwest Access is this way, not that way. That way is South Plains. Right. Water situation is a little bit dire. I could drink at that pond there, but you know what? Let's see if I can make it. For the science. 
Okay, there it is, right there, and just in time for me to start taking thirst damage. Uh, I think I've got enough altitude for a, another dive. Going very fast. Yeah, you know what, I'm not even going to take a second to survey the place before I land, because I know there is nobody out here. Another happy landing. And it looks like I'm not getting any fish spawns. So alright, let's get the heck out of here. It's to somewhere good, because my hunger... <laughs> not looking the best, 8% uh, is not a fun time. get over to South Plains pretty easily. It's just past that massive pillar. Uh, I could try the beach. The South Plains beach... It has had good spawns in the past, though then again other spots have had good spawns for turtles and the like in the past, and not so much now, so... Ooh, it's a big risk if I... if I bet on that. I mean, I can't wait for him to do something with this part of the map. Well, you just look at stuff like this. Like, it feels like something should be here. You know? Like, that feels like... I don't know, a lighthouse would be there or something. They have all these, you know, nice cliffs for Pteranodon if you had things, you know, spawning if this part of the map was populated with stuff. Lots of potential. Ah oh, man, could you imagine, like, Tyrannon's nesting up there and you got Herrera's climbing up, just... Hmm. One day. Okay, let's speed this up. Um... I'll take a cursory look at the beach, but otherwise I'm not sticking around. I'll head to South Plains. Is that... Holy crap, we have a sea turtle! We have a sea turtle! Hallelujah! And you are about to die a horrible death, my friend. There we go. Beautiful. And now let's get my fill before the taros show up, because those things will rip me to shreds, unfortunately. Crab. Oh, there they are. Little demons. Get what you deserve. And you... Yeah, go ahead and despawn. And don't think I don't see you, Compy. Don't think I don't see you eating my food, you piece of crap. Perish. There we go. Now I can eat in peace. Eh, I don't really care that I'm gonna lose those diet slots. All I care is that I'm not getting the debuffs, so I'll fill up completely on this thing. Yeah, sea turtles are just so wonderful. They are the greatest. There we go. Now from here... We can go on to South Plains. 
And I believe... Yeah, it's getting towards night. I'm thinking for this session, one more night. Uh, maybe get back up to Highlands, actually. Get back up to Highlands, I'll show off uh, the way I like to get fish up there and the way I like to get fish down at the swamp. And then I'll call it there. No, oh, yep, there's fish. So yeah, if I didn't find that sea turtle, I would have been saved by those fish anyways. And this place, I believe, has some good uh, boar spawns and such, so I would have been able to hunt one of them as well. Yep, I hear one. Yeah, look at that. Fish galore. We even got... Serato. Dano. All sorts of action over here. Okay. Uh, we got a bit of thundering, but... For now, we gotta get an outline between the ground and the sky, which is all I need to navigate. Let's see, we're at about midnight. Still very good on food and water. Now is the prime time to try to get up as high as I can. This is a pretty good example of what I was trying to show earlier. Is nighttime is really the time just to go wherever you want to go that's high up. It's time to prep for morning, really. Because you're not going to be catching fish so much in this kind of visibility. You're not even under optimal conditions. But especially if it's thunderstorming. I say thunderstorming, I mean at least lightning gives you something to work by, but if it's like complete overcast pitch black darkness and you don't have food, and if you don't have water and you don't know where water is, you are in a very bad position and you could very easily die. But if you go into each night with the mindset of I need to be prepared to survive the entire night without finding anything. Then you'll be fine regardless of what the night conditions are. Alright, getting towards morning. Just because I can. Let's see if I can get above the clouds. Let's see what the sunrise looks from up there. Alright, there's actually a good example of I'm now higher than the point I started from. At about the same cost as it would take to uh, take off. So, whenever you take off by, you know, just jumping off of a ledge, it's still uh, more stamina efficient if you're trying to go up than it is to actually, like, do the proper takeoff. It's getting a bit brighter. My FPS is tanking. Now right here we have a beautiful sunrise above the clouds. Lovely. If only I could zoom out further, this would be a good thumbnail. <laughs> eh, maybe I'll use it anyways. Okay, enough of me wasting stem for no reason. Let's get some fish in Highlands and then let's get some fish in Swamp. I guess while I fly there I'll mention, an interesting thing is that the different levels of uh, cloud cover have different heights. Like right now this is like the 
very partly cloudy, like it's slightly cloudy, and it's the lowest, like I'm above it, way above it right now. Meanwhile, when you get to like partly cloudy where it's mostly covered in clouds, that gets about up to the height I was just at. And then overcast and thunderstorms goes right up to the uh, height ceiling that you can reach, but you can get just above the clouds there. In fog, it just, you know, clings low. Okay, let's... Get some speed. Let's see about getting some fish here. The way I like to get fish here, do a dive like that off of the top of those rocks more often than um, from way up there. And you can very quickly assess the whole lake for fish. And I'm not seeing any right now. My experience so far in this patch, this lake is a bit hit or miss in terms of fish spawns. Now there have been times I've seen lots of fish here, other times where I stuck around for a little while just to see if any would uh, spawn, didn't get any. Though there are goats, if I was starving I would probably go for one of them. Not that one, it's in the water. Uh, yeah, lacking any fish. And fish spawns, I believe there's a couple, like right here by this dam. If you are lacking fish spawns up here, uh, go for a goat. They're pretty common, regardless. I do be aware this is one of those Dano central areas. I do not trust any inch of this water as far as I can throw it. If you are forced to drink here, hopefully I won't be regretting this. This area over here is your best bet. It's not completely safe, but it's the best you can do. What you can do is look above and try to spot if there's anything lying in wait. You can sometimes see Danos from above. Assess the surrounding terrain, because there might be things on land trying to get you. Drink at a sideways angle like this, so you can more easily escape. And I've had enough of that. Take off like that if you're not in immediate danger, do the emergency takeoff if, uh, you know, a croc jumps out at you. It's about the best you can do. I think just for funsies I'll go through the tunnel. See if I can plug that whole thing without crashing. I could go like if I was just trying to go to the swamp uh, without doing anything fancy between the biodome and those rocks there. That little bit about the same altitude as me would get me straight to there. Okay, let's see, tunnel is right through there. No, I don't need all of this altitude. server do not be laggy right now, that's not what I need in my life. And there we go. And here we are in Swamp proper. Which is actually a decent place for Pteranodon. It's like almost all at sea level, or like the tiny bit above sea level. And because it's so flat, you can get- oh, there's fish. Heard you. Eh, come on. There we go. And plenty of trees. 
to eat said fish on. Bane get nice and low. I'd like this occasionally pressed shift to get up to max speed real quick and then uh, cover tons of distance for very little stam cost. It'd probably be more stam efficient for me just to, uh, you know, not sprint at all. But you know what? I'm impatient. Yeah, it's fun dodging between the trees and all that. Yeah, a place like this where you don't really have elevation changes, Tyrandon can do very well for itself. Jeez, you know, it's gotta be a stego migration here right now. And hear them all over the place. Hello, sanctuary. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get anything in there. Bees don't attack you, but you're not pecking stuff inside there with how the cycads just provide cover. It's just not happening. Okay, finally gain low enough on stam for me to address it. I think I'll find a tree to land in. And I will call it here. This has been a good couple hours growing this thing, surviving, and even with doing some dumb stuff like going all the way out to uh, southwest access, still doing pretty good. Final thoughts, I'd say I feel like they need to change the food values for fish, at least for Pterandon and like Beppy, because having only 5% hunger off of them, it's a bit ridiculous, makes it a bit uh, difficult to feed them as well, a bit uh, tedious. Uh, and the, of course, most controversial bit of Pteranodon, the Stam region. I would like it if it was like a three minute region rather than a four minute. But with it having a long region, it's not that much of a problem if you play around it. Uh, it does encourage you to manage your stam with Terra. And even when you are, well, when you are super conscious about your stamina, you can still do quite a bit. You can still get pretty far... you can survive perfectly fine. Okay, this tree looks good. I think I will call it there. Well, I hope this has been helpful to some people out there. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.